Hi there folks, welcome back to the second video in this Python Pi game project for Othello, also known as Othello C. Uh, in the last video we created the, the main ob game object as well as we created the grid object class. Um, we also loaded in a couple of images for the tokens. Um, in this video I just want to go ahead and include a few more images, load up a few more images for this thing. It's going to be a quick video, short one, um, as we're about to hit load shedding. Cool. So in this video, what we're going to do, uh, let's go back to our class. Let's just put this into implementation mode so we can all see what's going on. In my grid class, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create an ad or a, a dictionary self dot Okay, we're going to create a grid, uh, an attribute called self.background, eg for background, we're going to say self.load background images, okay, that's a method, obviously we haven't created that method yet, forgive me if I'm moving a bit fast, but like I said, we're about to hit load shedding, and there is no power when there's load shedding, um, so self.load background images, great, so we're going to create a method, I'm going to create this method here just above my regen grid. There is a define. Uh, where are we? Load background images. We're not going to pass in any arguments. We're just going to go straight ahead and say alpha will be equal to. Okay, so we're basically creating a grid A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. I, right? So I'm going to have sprite sheet, sprite sheet. Ooh, what's it giving me? Okay, sprite sheet will be equal to pi game dot image dot load. Um, we're going to be loading assets. Void dot env. So it's basically a sprite sheet. Um, with all the different textures of the wood that we would like to use for our background. Okay, and here we're going to create that image dictionary. Dictionary. All right, so we have the sprite sheet loaded. Okay, plugin as a load, so we've loaded the sprite image as a sprite, as a sprite sheet. We have our image dictionary. We're going to go with for i in range three, maybe. All right, and then for j. Seven. Right. There's that image. Dict. Okay. Will be alpha, which is my alt button here. J. Okay. So it's selecting one of these letters. Okay. Alpha J. Plus string. I. Right equal to load sprite sheet and then it's a function that we're going to create in a minute we're going to pass this function a couple of arguments we're going to pass it a sprite sheet we're going to pass it the j we're going to pass it the i we're going to pass it the um, self dot size Right, which remember earlier was 80 by 80 and then we're going to pass it two more items we're going to pass it uh, 32 by 32 right so we're going to go up and create this load sprite sheet function now quickly i've got my utility functions underneath my load images i say define load sprite sheet and then we're going to pass it those arguments the arguments that we actually passed in it would have been sheet, which is the sheet that we learned. We've got the row, the column, the new size, and the current size of the image, the sprites of the image. All right. So image will be equal to our game dot surface 32 by 32. 
two. Image dot split um, sheet zero zero um, row multiplied by size zero column multiplied by size one um, size zero size. Right. The next thing we say with an image is equal to pygame dot transform dot scale image with a new size uh, new size because it's already a tuple that we're already passing in there, so we don't need that. Right? So we're going to say image dot set color key. Right, and then we're going to return the image. What this utility function is doing uh, load creates an empty surface, uh, and then it basically loads a portion of the sprite sheet onto the surface, and then return that surface as image. I think that explains it fairly obviously, fairly straightforward. Uh, that's running, that's running, return image, load sprite sheet. Let's go back down to our grid class uh, over here. So that's what we've done. We're now basically returning an image, of, uh, adding it to our image dictionary. Let's put it that way. So in our image dictionary, let's start from the beginning. So what we're doing is we're loading a background images. We're loading in a sprite sheet on into memory, and on that sprite sheet is a bunch of images that we would like to use to create our game, our backboard. So in that sprite sheet, there's three rows and there's seven columns. So we are signing assigning into our dictionary according to an alpha alphanumeric number. So we'd say in row one, column one would be Column one would be A1. So we would load an image in according to that into our dictionary. So if we had to refer back to our image dictionary as A1, it will return a particular image. I hope that was uh, you were able to follow that. Uh, the next the reason why we do that is because we want to draw this to the screen in a particular order. So to do that, uh, we just have to finish off this. Okay, once we've done that. Then we just need to return this image dictionary. All right, so now we return the image dictionary. We need to go back up to our class grid. Uh, yeah, under self.background. We're then going to say great uh, self.grid background. It's going to be equal to self.create background image. Okay, it's another method we need to create here quickly. In this class, it's, okay, this is going to take a little bit of time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy it in. Please pause the video and copy the details in. Otherwise, you can uh, copy it from the source um, code itself. Okay, so we're going to create this method. It's going to be define, create, background, create, background image. I'm not going to pass it any arguments. All right. This little section. So we're going to create a, a list of lists. Create BG is going to be equal to, and this section is what I'm going to copy in. <coughs> you are more than welcome to copy it from the code. Um, you'll see it's it's a lot. All it is is those alpha numerical references. Remember when we loaded in the sprite sheet and then we loaded each individual image into a dictionary according to an alpha numeric uh, reference number or name. Well, now we created a list inside this func method, and that list basically indicates what kind of image we would like to display in which position of this these list of lists. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say image is equal to pygame dot surface nine sixty by nine sixty 
right? And then we're going to say for J row in enumerate grid EG for I image in enumerate row image dot blit self dot bg image right and i multiplied by 80 j multiplied by 80. where do we get those 80s from well actually that 80 was actually self dot size zero for the x self dot size one for the y that's where we got the 80s from it was actually the 80s yeah and then we're going to return uh the image so what we've done on this on this object is we've created our grid a list of our, what our grid should look like how the board should look then we created a plain image a straightforward surface pygame surface and we have blit onto that surface uh, each image according to this grid and now we're returning that image okay Last thing we need to do uh, is we actually need to have a draw method in our grid class. So we're going to try and uh, draw grid. And we're going to pass it an argument. We're going to pass it window. We're going to say window dot blit self So we want to create a draw grid. So we're going to pass window.blit self.grid back bg and we're going to pass it to a zero. We're going to put it at the zero zero coordinate. All right. Next thing we need to do is we actually need to draw uh, call that draw method uh, in our main class. So here in our main class, we're going to say self.grid draw grid and we're going to pass it to self right so i should run this and i should get the screen for the screen on the thing ha 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 yeah <laughs> i'm gonna do one more thing I'm just gonna do one more. Yeah. <laughs> it's not often you just write a bunch of code and then it actually works the way you want it to so what we've done is we've loaded uh, a bunch of images into the screen i'm just going to show you as a quick way before i've got three more minutes before the power goes off uh, view appearance exit presentation mode so if you recall um, the actual wood the, the sprite sheet that we loaded looks like this so this is what it looks like it's incredibly small so each tile is an individual image that we've just loaded into the game and now we've called those images into the game board as we would like to have it and we've pulled that into the screen and uh, it all seems to be working very well so I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a quick one. I'm sorry. Again, uh, this is South Africa and uh, load shedding is a thing. Um, so I hope to see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more of this kind of content, I've got a couple of other games in the pipeline. But if you want to see more of this, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, make sure you got notifications on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers for now.